In today's video, this 1972 Mazda RX-3 Not only do we see it in action, but I get to drive it Hey Daniel, I'm driving Hey, hey, hey Please look at the Okay, that was some BS Yeah, there was more footage, but all a bit too shaky, I'm afraid. G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. Today we are going back to August 2017 for a two-day event, the Lakeside Classic. Look, I will get to today's feature car in just a sec, but a bit of background information on this event. There were quite a few classes on display. There was Group N, which was basically cars from the 60s, 70s. There was also the Heritage Touring Cars, pretty much the main event. This was made up of cars from Group C and Group A. And there really were some legendary cars on display. It was quite amazing. One class I was surprised to see was the old school Trans Am. And equally as surprising was the TA2. Now there's one other class and it's the QTCC, the Queensland Touring Car Championship and that is the class that today's car ran in. I really want to thank the owner of the car, his name is Peter. I got in touch with him, it was a cold email so it really came out of the blue and I had a bunch of questions and he has answered them all so I'm going to give you all of that information right now. And as mentioned the car is a 1972 Mazda 4-door RX-3 and Peter is the third owner of the car and he bought it in 1998. Now in all the answers that I received I don't know what the original color of the car is now I'm gonna just speculate that it could have been red. Now clearly the car has had a bit of a history, it's multicolored, but check out that bit of paint there in the engine bay. Might it have been red? Whoops, do I see S102A stamped on the firewall there? I think I do. So this did have the early front, and of course now it's got the later front. And to further complicate matters, on the internet I saw a photo of this car from many years ago, and it had the Grand Familiar front. So just to clarify, I did say Grand Familiar because I did see this nose on a Mazda Grand Familiar. Peter does write that the nose came from an 808. Obviously we're dealing with JDM names and export names, so please forgive the discrepancy. When Peter bought the car in 1998, the car was already a race car, so that was handy because the plan was to race it. He has been racing now for 20 years all over Australia at tracks like Lakeside, of course, Queensland Raceway, Morgan Park, Oran Park, Eastern Park, <laughs> Eastern Creek, Bathurst, Phillip Island, and many, many more. Now, naturally, some tweaking has occurred on the car over those 20 years. Peter has been doing some development on it, though I have no details. If Peter were to win the lottery, two mods among others would be a Hollinger gearbox and also quad injection. Alas, it is time to pull the plug, but I will leave you with question of the day and please leave your answer in the comments below. I do read them with joy, though it does take some time for me to answer them. And question of the day is what car do you want to hit the track with? It's as simple as that. Actually, you should probably specify which type of track in case it's off-road. Everyone, thank you so much. Take it easy and goodbye.